welcome to the new videos guys guys in this video we are going to discuss about how can we check the correctness of a dimensional sorry physical quantity so let's see this is the first topic that we have to study in this video because we are studying right now dimensional analysis so first of all we have to see uh, how can we check the correctness of a physical quantity guys. so this is very easy okay so suppose uh, we have any equations that is suppose we have d is equal to u plus a t this equation is given suppose and is this equation is dimensionally correct or not that we can easily uh, check by dimensional analysis so let's see in these equations what are given in these equations v is given no so v represents the velocity v represents what velocity and what are the dimensional formula of velocity we have already uh, studied about uh, the uh, dimensional formula of velocity how can we write that no so easily we can see here the dimensional formula of velocity becomes l t inverse 1 okay guys so this is the dimensional formula of velocity next we have to see that is here v u u also represents the velocity and if u represents the velocity then its dimensional formula also becomes l t inverse 1 no then now we have to see that is a is given here a represents accelerations no so what will be the dimensional formula of accelerations that becomes l t inverse 2 okay easily we can find out so if you have problem to write the dimensional formula of uh, this velocity accelerations then you can see my first video about the dimensional analysis which i have made for you guys uh, to clear your doubts so see that video also uh, it becomes very easy also uh, so by uh, not wasting the time let's see the topics of our, our topics okay then after uh, time is given no so the dimensional formula of time is t now let's see this a and t are combined no so we have to see the dimensional formula of a t right now so if this accelerations and t combines then it becomes sorry l t inverse to dot t no so it becomes what l t inverse or not guys yes it becomes l t inverse one so let's see in these equations v represents velocity its dimensional formula is l t inverse one u represents also velocity its dimensional formula is also l t inverse one accelerations and time both are combined both are, are in multiple terms so the dimensional formula of a t becomes l t inverse one it means this velocity accelerations and this a t these all have same dimensional formula or not yes that's why we can say if you combine with each other b b is equal to u plus a t then its dimensional formula becomes l t inverse one this is equal to its dimensional formula also becomes l t inverse one plus this dimensional formula also becomes l t inverse one or not guys yes so later on if we want to write here then let's see l t inverse one and if you take the common of l t inverse one then it becomes one plus one no so l t inverse one comes same l t inverse one i uh, dot t sorry dot two and t this two is dimensionally constant it have no dimensions so we can see here the lhs of this equation is equal to rhs of this equation or not dimensionally that's why this equation is dimensionally correct guys okay so <coughs> next let's see uh, let's take an example of another uh, uh, equations that is suppose we have b square is equal to u square plus 2as okay guys or in the these equations also we can write, uh, write, write as b square minus u square is equal to 2as suppose this is the equations and that we have to check dimensionally uh, whether it is correct or not so in these equations also we can say v u this v indicates velocity so its dimensional formula also becomes l t inverse 1 no this u indication accelerations and its dimensional formula also becomes 
एल टी इन वर्स वन नो ए रिप्रेजेंट ए एंड एस आर बोथ एक्सलरेशन ए रिप्रेजेंट एक्सलरेशन सो इट डायमेंशनल फार्मूला बिकम्स एल टी इन वर्स टू एंड एस इंडिकेट्स लेंथ दैट्स वाई इट्स डायमेंशनल फार्मूला बिकम्स एल सो नाउ वी हैव टू राइट द इक्वेशन दैट इज बी ए स्क्वायर माइनस यू ए स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू टू ए एस सो दिस भी रिप्रेजेंट्स एल टी इन वर्स वन स्क्वायर माइनस एल टी इन वर्स वन स्क्वायर दिस इज इक्वल टू टू इन टू ए एस वॉट विल बी द डायमेंशनल ऑफ एल एस दैस बिकम्स एल स्क्वायर टी इन वर्स टू गाइस ओके सो इफ वी मल्टीप्लाइड द पावर ऑफ दिस वैल्यू हेयर देन इट बिकम्स एल स्क्वायर टी इन वर्स टू माइनस एल स्क्वायर टी इन वर्स टू ऑल्सो दिस इज इक्वल टू टू इन टू एल स्क्वायर टी इन वर्स टू एस नो गाइस Yes. So let's see the dimension of each and every quantity in left hand side and right hand sides. That's all are equal or not? Yes. This means LHS part is equal to the RHS part dimensionally. That's why this equation is dimensionally correct. Okay, guys. So through this process, we can easily write, easily uh, write the or easily check uh, the given equation is dimensionally correct or not. Okay, guys. Thank you.